Hi, I'm Dr. Jandana Chanyaputipong, a consultant general surgeon with subspecialty in breast surgery uh, with Pan Asia Surgery Group. Breast cancer is common worldwide, but it does not have to be a fearful or, or dreaded disease anymore because of the currently available treatments, especially if the breast cancer is detected at an early stage. In general, breast cancer treatment involves a combination of surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, as well as other drug therapy that can be used to target a specific portion of the cancer cells. In terms of the surgical treatment for breast cancer, the options are either we remove the whole breast or we just remove a part of the breast that is involved by cancer. But as I mentioned earlier, some subgroup of these individuals with early stage breast cancer may be able to benefit from a new procedure called cryoablation. Cryoablation is a minimally invasive technique that uses uh, extreme cold temperature to destroy the cancer cells. This is essentially performed through the insertion of a small needle right into the tumor cells inside the breast itself. Studies from overseas have shown that cryoablation is as equally efficacious in terms of killing tumors of the breasts that is of a particular size, generally less than 1.5 centimeters, and of a particular type, those that are favorable and not too aggressive. Generally, cryoablation procedure for breast cancer does not last longer than one hour. Um, in terms of pain, because this procedure can be done using sedation, and oftentimes we do apply local anesthetics to the area, coupled with the fact that there is this extreme cold temperature that makes the whole procedure comfortable for the patient who are not being sedated, we have not had any feedback about pain being one of the problems associated with cryoablation. The patient who had the procedure done with us um, in terms of the use of cryoablation reported that she had virtually no pain even after the procedure is performed and she was able to get back to her normal daily routine in the same day itself. Studies from all over the world um, involving the use of cryoablation in the treatment of breast cancer has not reported any adverse side effects. But what a person may experience after cryoablation is the presence of bruising on the skin, uh, the sensation of heaviness in the breasts, as well as a hard lump that is inside. This hard lump is actually your cancer cells that are dead because they are left inside the body for the body to clear via natural processes. These hard lump may persist up to about a year after surgery. The sensation of a hard lump may persist up to about a year but as the time goes by, you'll find that it gets softer and eventually it will disappear. Although cryoablation is a very promising new technique, it has not yet been included in the standard guidelines for the treatment because we are still awaiting long-term data. But we have enough short-term data and evidence to show us that it can kill the cancerous cells. Now, breast cancer is a form of disease where you cannot just use one modality to tackle the problem. And hence, cryoablation is not meant to replace the rest of the treatments that you must receive if you have breast cancer, such as radiation therapy and chemotherapy. But I believe that there are individuals out there who will be suitable and can greatly benefit from cryoablation. The other usage for cryoablation are obviously in individuals with breast cancer but they have either an advanced age or poor health conditions that are unable to subject them to undergo standard surgery. In that situation, cryoablation may be very useful. What we know so far for cryoablation, we know that uh, it is very good in replacing surgery as a primary form of treatment if the cancers are small, that means less than 1.5 centimeters. For those cancers that are bigger, um, we can still attempt doing cryoablation for the purposes of local control. But we are not um, able to promise cure because as with cryoablation and uh, lumpectomy, we need to be able to blow up the ice ball 
large enough to engulf the tumor as well as the tissue surrounding it to be able to ensure that we have a good kill of the cancer. Now when your tumor is larger in size and our ice ball size is limited by the current needle that we have, we may not be able to engulf it entirely or more. In that scenario, we can do repeat procedures one month down the line. And studies have done that a lot in, the, in Europe, and they have shown that patients are able to benefit from it. There is definite local control that we can achieve, um, but it does not replace surgery or chemotherapy in advanced cases. Breast cancer is a very emotional disease. A person who has breast cancer may take a long time even before they come to seek treatment. And even after they have been diagnosed with one, they may take an even longer time to really bring themselves to agree to any form of treatment, especially if they need surgery or chemotherapy. I'd like to share with our ladies that if breast cancer can be detected at an earlier stage, and we now have the ability to perform a much more minimally invasive procedure that can give you an alternative to surgery, maybe we'll be able to help more people to come forward and get the treatment started. Because treatment of breast cancer at an early stage, when appropriately treated and completed in terms of treatment, they do live on a much longer period of time and living a fruitful life, being cancer free up to 20, 25 years down the line. Um, I just want everyone to encourage everyone to not let the cancer win without a fight. Mm -hmm.